I am on a train with no brakes going backwards. And not just any train, this is Stevenson's Rocket, which was built in, uh, when was it, Chris? 1829. 1829. Well, it's not the original, that's in the Science Museum. This is a replica from 150 years later that is in the National Railway Museum in York. But for all intents and purposes, this is Stevenson's rocket and it has no brakes. Chris, tell them why. Tell them something they might not know. Okay. When this was built, proper brakes really hadn't been invented. You had a handbrake for when you were stood still. And we also, on this loco, have modern brakes because that's the law. But we try not to use them. We try to be authentic. So the way we'll brake is literally, well, we're going backwards at the moment, so we'll stick it in forwards gear that will we'll put steam into the cylinders on the opposite side and bring us gradually to a nice slow halt. Then we'll just saunter off in the opposite direction. Now, it seems like that would damage it. It seems like, because uh, on a regular gearbox, when you hit that and put it, there we go, into reverse, it feels like that should mesh the gears wrongly. But that's not what's happening here. It's just injecting steam the other way. That's exactly right. The cylinder moves backwards and forwards like this. We just put the steam into the direction that the cylinder wants to move. It tries to compress the steam and that resistance slows the loco down. And so we come steadily to a stop like here. And then once we hit there, it just starts going the other way. Hopefully. That is wonderful. That is how you stop Stevenson's rocket. That is a train with no brakes. And that, thank you to Chris, Charlie and the National Railway Museum, is something you might not have known.